What is going on, everybody? Jeremy, Snakes for some Memories here, again. It's been a while, guys, right? A little, little bit, a little, little bit. If you missed me, you probably missed Holly more. But again, she's busy, so it's just me. Um, <laughs> but seriously, guys, it has been a while. I just want to check in, say hey. Um, we did some changing around in the snake room. So if you guys want to see how we've updated the snake room, you know, be sure to stick around. So, update on the snake room. Uh, we changed it up a little bit, so I wanted to give you guys a little tour of, you know, just how we've moved things around. Well, moved a few things around, um, added a couple things, and uh, this should be a quick video. You know, it's not going to be the longest. It's just, you know, obviously, small snake room, but, you know, I figured update you guys with a little bit of cool stuff. So, before, this is what our snake room looked like. Hopefully, I'm smart enough to remember how to edit videos and put in pictures. I might not be. You might not see anything right now, or you might just be, still be looking at me. But this is the uh, snake room before. And now, guys, yeah, you know, give you a nice little, little walk around. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. So let's get into it. So. I moved the incubator and the hatching racks. Well, two of the hatching racks, because I got four. Put the two for sale. Well, not for sale. But my two racks I'm using up for sale snakes into my room. But I left the two out here, and I moved the incubator over here, which this was dead space. We had a deep freezer there. It's like, got rid of that, moved it, and it just gave us way more space. And honestly, with the, the setup now, I feel we have a lot more space. So yeah. Moved that over to there, which freed up this whole wall. So now that means I can get more racks. I'm just kidding. I need more snakes before I get more racks. <laughs> but now I added a computer out here for us, well, for us, for me to be able to do Husbandry Pro a lot easier because uh, Holly's work's tied up my laptop now. So I was like, hey, I'm going to need something to be able to. Obviously, Husbandry Pro works on my phone, but to be 100% honest with you, I'm old and I feel uh, working on the computer makes uh, a lot of the tasks go by easier, like adding animals and things like that. Obviously, the quick tasks, feedings, you know, ovulations, you know, uh, you know, reproduction, like fast things work great, but I don't know. I like to, I like to mess around with the computer stuff. Um, yeah, I got a, and now uh, it's mobile. And I can take the cart anywhere I want to go. And then I also did some things with, we got a, yeah, take a screenshot. You know you want all that info. Um, we got a little clip system, clip system to kind of keep a, a track of what's going on with the in the bins a little bit easier. Then Husbandry Pro, like, hey, just like a quick example, we got like yellow clips on our bins, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and that means the girls are over like 12 millimeters. So that means it's pairing time. Uh, just it's fast, easier to and then scanning everybody and knowing where everybody's at. Just trying to do something different. So it's uh, quicker and easier, maybe a little bit more efficient for us to. So, yeah, I got a computer on the cart. Uh, we went with the Dymo labels. Again, I'm going to show you the tubs. Like, we change up tub labels and things like that. Uh, got business cards for our tub labels that just have our logo up top. And then we put our Dymo label down on the bottom. It makes it a lot uh, easier to do that like, instead of, like, trying to, like, print out business cards from, like, printing out a Dymo label, putting that sticker on, and a business card. Honestly, this was, like, 20 bucks for 500 business cards with our logo right there. Uh, just it, it was cheap and easy in my opinion so yeah got that table there got our board back up here sticker wall which I got I have to add some stickers I just got the sticker wall unburied from the corner so I have to add I have like 20 more stickers to add up here from you guys thank you um, yeah now we got this so let me think it go this way 
So this is where we do like our ultrasounding. So this is our ultrasound table. Uh, got by, you know, follicle chart up there, scaling, uh, ultrasound, hand sanitizer, things like that. And I have this table locked in the corner because I really don't want it to move. This one, I just put a clamp underneath just to keep them together so they don't move. But this is going to be like a rollout table so I can, you know, cut eggs and stuff on this table alone. Um, just, I feel, uh, it looks nice. It looks really nice. I feel like that's going to be real good for when uh, we do egg cutting videos. We'll be able to roll this table out to the middle of the floor. Uh, Holly or I will be able to record the other one cutting the eggs. Uh, most likely me cutting the eggs because Holly don't like the goo. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, we got, uh, we're gonna call this like the egg cutting table. Um, but yeah, that's what that's for. And then I got this, got this rack, you know, this wire shelving unit. I have my, you know, pillow fluff up here. Uh, deli cups for the hatchlings, which are in the back right now, because I'm honestly, I have, I have five snakes left for sale, guys. Uh, so I don't need any more deli cups right now until eggs start hatching this year. Um, yeah, and then we got, like our dragon hatch trays up here, our totes. I don't know why that box is up there, but it's up there. <laughs> uh, got more deli cups right here, paper towels, tools. I put I put my perlite in a tote instead of a bag because now it's, it's just easier to manage and take care of. And I was thinking about bringing down just gonna tell you my ideas. Uh, I think about bringing this stuff down here and just having this kind of like your my egg, my egg prep shelf. Um, and then I put my displays down on the bottom. Now they're out of the way, easier. Look at that, I got freaking Herpsat 6 down there. Last just extra. Yeah, I got some extra stuff now um, from selling my old racks. But yeah, that is. The shelving unit, I'm, I'm so I'm so much easier to organize ourselves and keep things clean and organized out here. Uh, having like shelving and things, places to put things instead of just throwing things on the tables and just not knowing what we're doing. I uh, got my, just, just a little tip guys. Oh, got my cocoa, cocoa to go. Which I sell cocoa to go guys. So if you need cocoa to go and you're in Florida, Hit me up, 90 bucks a bale. I got you. Um, but little, little, I don't know if you guys knew this, because I didn't know this. Ladders are meant to lay flush up against the wall and they don't tip over. I'm just saying, I did not know that. So ladders take up less space if they're laying flat against the wall. Little, little breeder tip, <laughs> a breeder tip right there. But not all serious because I found that out. I was like, oh my god, yeah. So um yeah, I got my cocoa right here ready to go for me. And now the racks, you obviously know the racks haven't moved. Ooh, they did move a little bit. Because I used to have my hatching rack over here, didn't I guys? So yeah, I moved the racks all the way down up against here. And now yeah, this is this is just the new room, guys. What do you guys think? And these are our new tags. It's a pain in the butt to get them out. But put a card behind it and it comes right out. So yeah, these are our new clutch cards. I, they look a lot better than the ones we had before that were laminated and they were Velcroed on. Uh, this is a lot easier in my opinion to deal with. What do you guys think of the new room set up? It really makes it a lot, gives us a lot more room out here in my opinion. Uh, I feel less crowded, I feel more organized. Um, super excited to have the room like this. Uh, yeah, you know, drop a comment down below. Let me know how you guys like the new room setup. Uh, if you guys think I should change something up or organize something a little bit better, let me know. Uh, I'm always, always wanna take advice from everybody, you know. The only way for me to grow is to learn. And so yeah. Um, yeah, that was just the room update. I wanted to show you guys the new room. Uh, and we're gonna have, you know, got some eggs to cut in a few weeks. So 
watch out for some egg con videos and if you guys haven't please like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I don't put out videos regularly anymore guys I put them out when uh, you know I feel like we've done something cool or epic egg cuttings I think are epic so I'm always gonna be putting out those videos clutch updates but I don't know well we did this new room setup and I feel like it was worth showing off because I, I love I love the new setup I love how everything's going with it um, but yeah, comment down below, hit that notification bell. Uh, and guys, uh, US Arc, Florida and US Arc, links in the description. Please, if you can, go out, support US Arc and US Arc, Florida, become members. It's free. If you can donate, that's great. Um, but just showing, uh, giving US Arc numbers, by numbers, I mean membership numbers is always a great thing to show that they have a backing. It's not always about money. It's about, you know, showing the support that you have from the community. So if you guys can, please go support US Arc and US Arc Florida. Um, yeah, this is the new room, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And, you know, I'll see you on the next one. And for sure, Holly hopefully will be in the next one, too. Yeah. You guys have a good one. Deuces.